In this video, we'll be building a free challenge funnel step by step. So first of all, we'll build the lead generation landing page. And then we'll add the confirmation page. And as you can see, we have something really fun going on here where the first name of your lead is actually shown in this confirmation page. So this is dynamic. It will change depending on who signs up. And what happens behind the scenes is that your new lead will get a welcome email with a PDF where you can already start promoting your services or your products. And then they will go into this 30 day email challenge where each day they will get an email. Hey, Hannah here from Thrive Themes and let's create a free challenge lead generation funnel. We're using Thrive Architect for this. The first thing I will do is add a new page. This will be my lead generation page. Let's launch Thrive Architect. Now, because this is a page where we will send traffic to, I want to make sure that people do not get confused and that the only thing that they can do on that page is either sign up or leave. This means that I will be using a landing page to build this lead generation page. So I will choose one of the pre-built landing pages. From here, you can see that we have a whole bunch of templates available for you and you can just choose one that fits your style. Now, don't forget that changing colors is super easy. So just look at the general elements on the page and which one you prefer. I will go for this bright smart set. Now I could use one of the pre-made templates, but I really want to show you how to do this from scratch. So I will start with the blank template. From here, I will use blocks to build this page. So let's add a new block. And the first section we want to add is the hero section. So from here, I will choose a hero section that I like, one with a big image and a title. Because this is a lead generation page, we want to make sure that we have a lead generation form on the page. So let's add another block, go to our lead generation form here, and then choose one of these. And now I can very easily start playing around with these elements. So for example, instead of having this button, I actually want the lead generation element to be in the top section. So I can just select it and then drag it underneath this. And now I actually don't need this block anymore. So let's delete it. The next section we want on this page is a text block. Then we have a block with the benefits. So here you can see we have a lot of pre-designed blocks for the different benefits, or you can also look at the list content, which will allow you to show your benefits in list form. Now, next up, I want to add testimonials. And we have an FAQ section. And finally, we do want to make sure that there is a footer on this page. So what I can do is go to the page breadcrumb and I can simply activate the footer of my website. So as you can see, this is now the footer that is already on the rest of the website. It has the links with the um, all rights reserved and so on. Or I can have a specific footer for this landing page, which I can do by clicking and then changing the footer. For this example, I want to make a best year challenge. So the idea is to invite people to plan out 2021 to make sure that this becomes their best year yet. Let's start adapting the page for that. Now I'm pretty bad with the title case. And so one thing that you can do if you're not typing title case is actually just transform this text. It's just a little easy trick to write faster. Now above default on this free challenge page, we want to make sure that people know what they will get when they sign up so that we can get as many people as possible to join the challenge. So for that, I'm going to add a text element. And then of course we want to make sure that we also adapt the image to make it fit our challenge. So let's click on this background section, go into our background style. And then here we can see that there is a solid color and underneath there is an image. I can click on this image to replace it and then choose an image that represents planning. 
as you can see, one of the advantages in Thrive Architect is that you can layer background sections. So this allows you to add any image and make sure that your text is still visible. Now, maybe you want this image to show a little bit more, which you can just do to clicking on this solid color layer. And then we can play around with the opacity. So maybe this is more what we want so that the image shows a bit better. This would be our section where we explain how the challenge works. And then we can play around with the different icons here and our headings and so on. Now, when you click on one of the icons, you'll see that the other icons also get selected. This means that group editing is activated. The advantage of this is that you can change, for example, the size of all of these icons in very easily all together because they are linked. Now, if you click on the change icon, however, it will only change that one icon. So let's imagine that we want an envelope in here to represent our emails. So as you can see, this just changed the icon on here. If you want to change the style of the icon, you can also change it over here. So this would allow you to have, for example, squared images or squared icons. And as you can see, again, this changed for all the icons at once. Then we'd have testimonials. And I can see here that we have these two gray sections and I actually want to make sure that this how does this work section stands out a little bit more. So what I can do is click on the background section on the background style and then here in our colors, I can choose from the template colors. Now you'll notice why this is important in just a few seconds. So I'll choose one of the template colors here. And then we have the testimonials and here we have the frequently asked questions. So like I said in the uh, Funnel Friday video, I usually do not recommend putting frequently asked questions on a lead generation page. But if you have things like a start date and so on for your challenge, then this might actually be a good thing. The way to edit this element, and this is a toggle element, so when you click on it, make sure to click on the edit toggle items here. That is what will allow you to actually open the toggles and to edit what's inside. So if you click on edit toggles, you see here that this opens a new uh, option to edit everything. Let's add our first question. And then to add the answer, you would click on the expand button. This will open the toggle and from here you can add your text, your images, whatever you want to add within the toggle elements. And then when you're done, you can just click on the done button here. If you only want one a column of toggle elements, you can just put it here to one column and that will give you your FAQ one underneath the other. So that's it. That's how easy it is to create one of these lead generation pages. But of course, we're not done yet because at this point, this is just a page and it's not connected yet. So what we want to do now is create our confirmation page. Let's add a new page and I'll immediately publish this page and then edit it with Thrive Architect. So again, on our confirmation page, we don't want our normal menu and so on. So we're going to choose a landing page. And I'll choose from the same set. Now here I can either choose an email confirmation page or I can choose one of the download pages. Or again, I can choose the blank page and just use the blocks to create the page exactly like I want it to be. Now we'll keep this confirmation page extremely simple. I'll pick this block. Don't need this navigation menu, so I'll just select it and delete it. And then Let's make this block match the height of our screen and I'll change the background style. So the background image. And we'll play around with the opacity a little bit again, especially because we have this white uh, box here. So we know that the text will stand out. Let's apply. Now, what I want to show you on this confirmation page is how we can say something like you're in and then the first name of the person that just signed up to make it a little bit more personal. And the goal of this confirmation page is really just for people to check their email because we want them to get into the habit of checking this daily email. So I don't need this button. I'm just going to delete it. Same with this uh, element here. I can delete it. 
And just to add it, a, to make it a little bit more personal, I'm going to add a picture in there. Now for consistency, I'm also going to activate the footer on this page. Alright, so now we have the confirmation page and I'm going to show you how you sh can connect your confirmation page with your lead generation landing page. So let's go back to a lead generation landing page. And from here, we want to connect our opt-in form. So when somebody signs up to this form, they will then see the confirmation page. So first of all, let's add a connection. In my case, I'm using active campaign and I want to make sure that people get added to the right autoresponder to the right follow up emails when they sign up through this form. So for this, I will add a tag. Now, each time someone signs up to this form, they will get this tag added to their account. Now here I can set what happens after successful submission. So I want to redirect to a custom URL and the URL here will be our confirmation page. So I can search for it. And like I said, because on the confirmation page, I actually want to tell someone like, Hey, first name, welcome. You're in welcome to the challenge. I'm going to send the form values to the thank you page. And you can see here that this will send the name and the email address and that the variable with which it will be sent is TV, TV underscore name. So I'm going to copy this. If you want to change anything on this opt-in forms, for example, instead of saying get access, we want to say, yes, I'm in, then you would go to our edit form elements and you can start typing. One thing that you'll probably want to do on this page is add buttons that will send people back to the top of the page so that they can see the opt-in form. So what you do is for example, here and how this work, we can add a button. And again, let's change this. And now we want to link this button to the top of the page. So here we will choose an anchor link. We will select our target, go to the top of the page, make our opt-in form, or maybe this text, our target and add the jump link. So now when somebody clicks on this button, they will be sent to the top of the page. And then one last thing, I told you that it was super easy to change the colors. So let's say red is not your color. Well, you're lucky because with smart landing pages, it's super easy to change the colors of the whole landing page at once. That's why I didn't start editing stuff yet. Simply click on the pencil icon and choose another color. Now you can either choose a color from here or you can change it to any color to match your brand. As you can see, everything on the page changed. So not just the first uh, section, not just the text, but really everything in here, our icons changed, our button changed everything. So this makes it really super fast to create your landing pages. All right, we're done with our lead generation landing page. We connected our opt-in form and we send it to the confirmation page. Now we want to make sure on the confirmation page that we display that first name. So in the text, we want to add a dynamic text and the source of this dynamic text will be the request data and then the URL query string and our variable name. That's the one that I copied from the lead generation page. So now you see that this says you're in URL query string. So this will be replaced with the name. Let's save this. I'm going to preview this page and I'm going to publish it. Now let's test this to see what happens and I'll test this in an incognito window. As you can see, I got the confirmation page saying you're in HANA, check your email to get immediate access to the starter pack. Now this is the part of the funnel that happens on your website where people sign up to the lead generation page and then get the confirmation page. But there is one more thing that we want to 
add to our website and that is the PDF for the starter pack so that we have a link to the PDF that we can add to our first welcome email. For that, let's go back to the website, go into media, add new, upload our file. And then here you can see the URL that will send people to this PDF. So let's copy this URL. Now we have to work in our email marketing service because at the moment people will sign up and they will see the confirmation page, which is all nice and well, but we still want to make sure that people actually get the different challenge emails. So for that, I will move over to active campaign to show you how I set this up. So here in active campaign, I added an automation. And as you can see, when the tag best year challenge is added, this automation gets started. And then we have our first welcome email. And this is the email where we want to add our PDF link. So here I can add a link and paste the PDF link that I just copied from my website. You will see that the link is something like my website slash uploads the date and then dot PDF at the end. If that's the way the link looks, it's the right one. So, okay. Save and exit. What will happen is when people get into this automation, immediately they will get the welcome email that has a link to the PDF starter pack that will allow you to already start building that relationship with your customers, maybe make some offers to them, maybe show some products with affiliate links or whatever fits your challenge here. And then in this case, in this automation, the way I set this up is I'm waiting until the, the 7th of the month. So because the challenge is starting on the 7th of December, I have everyone who starts this automation wait until the 7th of December, and then we will start sending an email. So the first email challenge day one, we wait for one day, challenge day two, you add a waiting for one day again. The way this looks will depend on your email marketing service, whether you have to add people to a different list in order to start the email follow up, or whether you have to add them a tag or whether you have to send a custom field. Yeah, unfortunately, this is really dependent on which email marketing service that you use, but I'm sure that you can find the information in their documentation. I hope this video made it clear how you can create a free challenge funnel on your WordPress website using Thrive Architect. And if you're not using Thrive Teams yet to build your website and your landing pages, then go to thriveteams.com and sign up there.